in that span where you guys had a big seven point lead and they go on a 23 0 Was it anything that they did or did you guys kind of just lose the game? Uh, I think they just got a lot of easy looks and they got into a good rhythm. Are you talking about the third quarter? Yes. Yeah, uh, specifically that third quarter. Uh, Bang got it going. Uh, great young player in our league. And uh, he just kept his foot on the gas pedal, which he should have done when Ja was on the bench. Um, and then when the, both those guys came in, they were just playing off each other really well. Uh, I felt like they got into our paint pretty often. Bang challenged our bigs at the rim. Uh, so did Ja. I felt like we did a great job uh, most times just Forcing John to some tough ones, but uh, you know he got it going early. I think he almost had what 20 in the first quarter, or in the first half. Uh, so there was a lot that they were uh, feeling good about. I felt uh, in the first quarter on, and um, you know we did our best to fight back. But that third quarter is just horrendous. Jeffrey, what do you guys need to do to find the rhythm defensively? Uh, I could sit up here and say we can watch film, we can communicate more, we could trust more. Uh, I think that those, those things are obvious, but uh, for us as a team, uh, consistency, uh, when we're out there, uh, in terms of focusing on our game plan is really what we have to um, collectively focus on as a team. You know, And, and uh, it's an effort thing, of course, but it's, it's now it's a psychological thing. Uh, aspect that we have to develop as a team what's going to make us tick what's going to be our pulse especially on defensive end when we get up for when we give up 39 points in the first quarter 45 points in, in the third quarter that's just not a trait of a of a great team on the defensive end uh, especially when you think about um, just how much length we have and, and how much talent we have uh, in terms of our intangibles of, of being uh, able to make up for one another on that end of the, on the defensive end of the floor because we have guys that can play multiple positions. So I think we just got to utilize our strengths well um, and just make the game easy for each other on the defensive end instead of just having it just be a one-on-one -on -one challenge. We play great team defense when we're communicating and when the right spots uh, body-wise, body position-wise on the end. When it comes to John Murray, what is his fourth year? What have you seen him continuously be able to do, especially when it comes to like labeling himself and improving the offense they able to kind of like He's kind of every category. He's kind of taken to the another step. Uh, he's an incredible student of the game, and he takes his craft, his profession, very serious. It's um, you know a trait of a great player when they come in and have no fear, and Ja doesn't have fear, and he shows it uh, night in and night out. And um, you can tell that he's he's watched guys before him, and he has a lot of nuances in the game and. I think coming into this year, he definitely wanted to make it a point individually uh, to get better in every category. You know, we, we when I say we, you know, a, a lot of us as professionals, year to year, we, we want to work on some specific things. And I feel like this year, he's making an emphasis not to just score, uh, but to make it look easy and then also make his teammates better. And they go off uh, his mentality. So uh, it's good to see. We'll be seeing um, him lead this team for a long time, hopefully. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to the challenge of, of being, um, you know, the OG or YOG in this league. You know, uh, I know that um, he's just going to keep getting better. So just uh, appreciative that I get a chance to compete against him. solid relationship with Ben early in the season. Do you feel like you need to say anything to him because he struggled to, to keep going early and has had these foul problems and he hasn't had the type of impact that he's like so far? Uh, m most of uh, what I have to say to that is is just trusting that he's a professional and that his skills are going to catch up to our game plan eventually. You know, and when I say that, just he's there, but I think just body wise, uh, I'm not going to give him any excuses. You know, of course, I don't think he wants any excuses from me. But the, the relationship that we've developed is uh, really centered around just holding each other to that high standard and knowing that. Um, you know, we're capable of doing some special things night to night, but a lot of it is mental. You know, a lot of it is pushing through um, just what you feel like you're capable of doing, especially when you're coming off an injury. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever had a significant injury or something that you're pushing through, um, but when you're out there and the game's moving fast and, you know, you're playing with some great players and it's a, you know, environment where it's new when you're playing on the road with some new guys that you haven't played with. I think we've been together for four weeks now, you know, total. So uh, though we have guys that have been here for a few years together, but it's still a new synergy we have to figure out, new DNA. 
And uh, once we find that heartbeat, that rhythm, that pulse within our team, I feel like things will start clicking. But until then, I, I, I think you guys can quote me too. I said this at media day. It's going to look ugly sometimes. It's going to look beautiful. It's going to look ugly. And game to game, we're going to have to figure it out. And we had a chance to win this game. We did. We, we should win. When there's great players out on the floor, I feel like I have a great chance to win it every game I play in. Um, but in terms of how I individually feel, it doesn't matter. It's all about the team, and Ben's a big part of that, and we need him to lock in just like as much as us.